everyone, it is TwinPlays here, back again with another video. I hope you guys are all doing okay. Um, before we start this video, feel free to subscribe and hit that post notification button. It means a lot to you guys. And, um, yeah. Um, also, before we start the video, feel free to join the Discord. We are doing a giveaway at 500 members. And, uh, it means a lot. Also, join the group, because that is sound really cool. And, yeah, you can get in the live streams. And we're going to be doing a lot of cool stuff with that. But, um, yeah, guys. So, before we start this video... Um, I'd like you to know I'm doing a lot of videos and I'm trying to get as much out as possible. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, so then one second. I'm trying to get, sorry, I'm trying to get as many videos out as possible for you guys. So I'm going to try my best. I've been super busy. If you just looked at my last recent video on Boombox, me for July, explained a lot about it. Um, I'm sorry about that. So yeah, if you are coming from this, welcome. Um, what are you going to do? Go to the description, look for models, and grab this link for whole detail. Um, and feel free to claim it. It should say item owned. Once you have that, we're going to look into this. Now, um, basically, go in your toolbox. <laughs> if you don't have your toolbox open, it's on home. Hit that open and grab home. Hit hold E for tool. Now, how this works is we have a little special thing. Um, where'd that go? Okay. Um, there's groups. Now, you're going to do a few things. Let me move this over here just so you can look at this. Um, this is a basically a tool. Uh, if you are, I'm going to show you guys how you can make your own tool and how you can do it. But let's say we have a stand, okay? This is our stand. We wanted someone to grab a pool stick. Or let's say we wanted someone to get a drink that's sitting on the bar stool. We're going to show you how to do it and how to do that. Um, but yeah, so let me test this out. And I mean, surely, first, what you got to do, see the server storage? You're going to grab this right here, bring it all the way to server storage, and Right click and hit ungroup. We got a pool stick. Gonna grab this workspace right here and ungroup. Well, you don't gotta ungroup it. This one you can keep grouped. Sorry, there's a lot of things in that. But we're gonna look for is this right here, this part. And yeah, give me one second here. Okay, so inside this part is a proximity prompt and a script. Proximity prompts are like a studio beta access thing. If you don't want to know how to access it, you go to file, go to beta features, and turn all of them off. So that's pretty easy to do. Um, when you do it, you can search here and search up proximity prompt. Now, this was a new thing added to Roblox. Um, it's basically like a GUI that pops up for a player, and it's basically pre-made for you. It's super nice and easy. That's a legendary thing. But inside here, there's a few things. You can change the object text, which will say, you know, take a pool stick, take a drink. Just grab that. You can change that. Um, you can change the max activation disk, the max activation distance. So you know, like they can do it from a long, far away, close, far away, or really close, far, really close. Um, they can hold it for how many seconds? Uh, can hold it with E, space bar, and button X with the, like the, you know, Xbox controller. So yes, this does work with Xbox. Um, but yeah. That's another thing. And then we have a script. So what we're doing is we're grabbing local server storage, which is game I mean game get service server storage. And we're grabbing the pool stick, which is in server storage dot pool stick. And then we're having local pool part, which is script parent. So that's me script parent right here. Pool part dot proximity prompt triggered. So when this thing gets triggered, so hold D for a certain amount of time, we're gonna grab the pool stick and clone it in the player's backpack backpack because when they reset they won't have it anymore but if it was starter gear they will have it forever i mean well until they leave the game so if you do want to change that you can change it to starter gear but we're having another backpack right now so that's pretty simple guys that's how that works so we're gonna go right here play here we're gonna test this out and show you how this works um sorry guys i'm really quiet i've been uh Lose my voice half the time because I've been playing some VR lately. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so we're gonna go up to it. Oh, I don't know. What, I don't know what's up with my character, but we're gonna go up to it, and it's gonna pop up like that. And you can either click it, you can hold E, and see how it's like not a certain amount of time. And they can still spam this. That's a thing. But you know, it doesn't really matter because it shouldn't. Um, I also, if you want to make it a, an easier version so they can't spam that then yeah, but the other thing is they can't drop them because I'll show you how. But yeah, so like as you can see here, guy holds it and stuff like that. So it's just a simple tool. You can put this in vibe games anywhere you want. And if you want, if you want to make it so a player can put it drops on the floor, you can also do that. Um, 
I can probably show a few ways of doing this, but um, rather than that, let's work on a random one. So let's do, we're just gonna take this part and get rid of that. And let's say right here, let's make this transparent zero so I can see it. Okay, um, we're gonna go and grab something. So we're gonna do a sword. You guys wanna do a sword? Let's do a sword. So we're gonna go into a box, grab a sword, uh, starter gear, yes, oh, starter pack. Well, classic sword, so we're actually gonna name this sword because it'd be easier for us. And we're gonna look in here, can be dropped, turn that off because then you don't want them to drop it. We're gonna put that in server storage, pull stick, get rid of that because we don't need any more. We're gonna go here and we're gonna go server storage. Now we're gonna change these, okay? So we're gonna go local sword equals server storage dot sword. Basically like that, so now we get the sword. Now we're gonna go local pool part. I mean, well, we can do a part. Let's just do a part equals script parent. So this part, proximity triggered, and then local, <laughs> local. Let's do sword copy equals sword right here. Sorry, sword. And then we're gonna go sword copy. You don't have to change that, guys. You can make it super simple for you if you want, and just change it to server to storage dot pool. It's like super easy to do that and basically that's gonna work so if we want let's just test it out but then I'm gonna try one more thing we're gonna make it a little bit better let's see if I can do this right normally I can um, but okay there you go see oh and it says pool stick because I didn't change that but it's lit so now we have the sword see how that just works it's super easy um, Let's go change that. We'll go hold duration five. Take a sword. And then I wonder why my. It's probably because of that guy right here. I'll just disable these guys. Get rid of them because we don't really need them. Um, and then let's see if I can do this. Normally, what you do, see how it says function.player? We'll do if player.character.backpack. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, wait, wait. Then, uh, print already owned. And then we're going to go else. And we'll just do this. So what, what I'm trying to say is if the player's backpack that finds the sword already, it's just going to print our output, and they're not going to get the sword again. And if they don't, oh, just give them the sword. So let's see if that works. I actually don't know if that will. Uh, normally, I just learn this stuff off my head of my thing, but I hope it'll work. <laughs> um, and you normally can tell some stuff. It, there's a lot of ways. Okay, so oh, sorry, I put it on for five. It's probably gonna pop on here. Uh, backpack is not a valid member of model. If player, okay. Well, you're probably gonna have to grab a local player. Here, give me one second. Let me let me actually make this. Okay, super simple fix. I actually just searched it up real quick. So, like I said, I own it already. Now, if I go in here, try and do it. Now, I actually should add this to my game because it'd be super nice to do, and I might go do that. Already owned. So I don't need to worry about people spamming it and trying to get more than one, you know, in the play inventory. So all I did, <laughs> super simple, what I messed up on that you guys would have worried, I did player.character backpack. You could do player.character finder's child, or you could do player.backpack finder's child, because it's already part of the thing. I was looking in character. So all you got to do, guys, is... You can just do if tool, then print already owned, else local sword copy, and it'll put them in their backpack. Super simple, you guys. Um, I really hope you did enjoy this video. Um, if you did, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. So I'd honestly recommend to do this. Um, do this instead. Uh, I kind of just, you know, gave you the other one, but this is much better to do. Uh, I might update it, update the script while I'm at it is when I leave this so you guys can understand what I'm doing. But um, yeah, I think that's all I got for you guys. I uh, hope you did enjoy this. Please comment, like, subscribe, and share. And uh, I'll see you in the next one, okay? <laughs> Bye.